Hi, well praise the Lord Jesus who helped me catch this five, uh, four and a half pound catfish yesterday in answer to prayer. And the purpose of this video is to do a first take of my new Bubble Blade electric knife and see how I like it uh, cleaning catfish. There is a redeemer, Jesus God's own son, precious lamb of God, Messiah. Holy one. Okay, for many years I've made videos on fish cleaning using a traditional manual knife and this is my favorite, it's just a Dexter Russell 7 inch uh, fillet knife uh, and I'm grateful for the hundreds of thousands of views I've gotten on YouTube on the fish cleaning videos and the most common comment I've gotten is, hey can you demonstrate how to do that with an electric knife or you should be using an electric knife. So. Uh, my wife bought me this new bubble blade electric knife and today's video is the first take uh, using it for the first time to clean a catfish and uh, I've used electric knives before but it's been about a decade and I abandoned them because the electric knives that were available you know back in the early 2000s they didn't last very long um, they just weren't really well made for the task of fish cleaning uh, you had to find somewhere to plug them in that kind of thing. Uh, now I'm more optimistic. This uh, bubble blade has the uh, lithium ion battery, and if nothing else, uh, don't need a place to plug it in. And the blades look like they're designed specifically for, for, for filleting fish. Okay, the theme of these uh, Redneck 101 videos is filleting fish uh, quickly, simply, and easily rather than getting every gram of meat. You know, in life there's always trade offs and the simpler the approach you take to do something, a lot of times there's some sacrifices to be made and uh, some of the, leaving some of the meat on the fish is, is one of the sacrifices uh, when cleaning fish quickly and when using an electric knife. So our, our, we're going to stay outside the rip cage because another thing to keep it simple is to remove the second step of cutting out the ribs. It also keeps it cleaner if you're not cutting through uh, the internal organs inside the rib cage. So our first cut is just going to be along the ribs down the backbone here. I'm going to slide the knife over like this. The second cut's going to remove the fillet from the backbone. Then we're going to flip it over and remove the fillet uh, from the skin. So I'm just feeling to feel where the rib cage is here for the first cut. All right, leave a little skin tag attached. Flip it over. Make sure we're in the camera, we can see. Uh, start down here at the tag end, down to the skin. And then remove the fillet from the skin. Oh, I have a little trouble there. Hmm. Not sure what happened there, this thing stayed on. I don't think that's a design feature, having it stay running like that. Uh, hmm. Trying to work for safety different ways. Trying to press the button different ways. Hmm. It's just staying running. Hmm. Seems like a design flaw. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish filleting the fish. Well, that's hard because I can't really control it on and off. We'll go ahead and remove the battery. That'll stop it. All right. Glad I had my old-fashioned uh, Dexter Russell handy. And if you notice right there on this side, because I was having a little problem with the electric fillet knife, um, started separating it there, so I got a little more fine work to do to finish separating it from the fillet. From the skin. All right. And then just the old fashioned way with the manual fillet knife. All right, there we go. One nice. Channel Catfish Filet. A 
flip it over. Now, this thing with the fillet knife uh, not stopping is bothering me. It really should stop when you let go of the uh, trigger there. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, like I said, it's the first time I'm using it. Purpose of the video is to give the first impression. And, uh, not sure why. Tell you what, I'm going to take the blades out. Now, put the battery back on. I can fiddle with the on off part of it without it, uh, without it moving sharp blades. Just figure out if I can figure out how to turn it off. Nope, can't seem to figure out how to get the thing to turn off. Put the battery out again. That'll turn it off. Now, one thing I do like about the battery, um, you press this little button here and it tells you how well charged the battery is. I don't know if you can see those little blue lights on the camera, but it's got this blue light indicator with all four, four bars lit up, battery's fully charged, and kind of a proportional response. All right, well, looks like I'm going to have to finish cleaning the uh, catfish here today with a Dexter Russell manual fillet knife. So the basic technique is the same. Keep the knife outside the rib cage. Uh, separate it first down to the backbone, separate it from the backbone. Flip it over using the tag down to the skin and then remove the fillet from the skin uh, using the knife. So two very nice uh, channel catfish fillets. Praise the Lord Jesus. I actually like that one better. Seems like I got a little more meat off uh, with the Dexter Russell fillet knife. Thank you Jesus. I tremble at the thought of judgment day Lord I am not ready please don't return just yet for all my sins are and put away my cross is on the floor and I would burn